Hey, everyone, it's Justin again. I'm your host for today's lesson all of, hold on. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta catch my breath. I just jogged all the way over here and it was pretty far. Not to mention all the hills I had to go up. Ooh. I guess I could have gotten here another way and maybe ridden my bike, my skateboard, or driven my car. Those are all different ways we can get from place to place. In other words, they're different types of transportation. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So stay tuned for a very moving lesson all about transportation. Welcome back, everybody. Today's lesson is all about getting from there to here, from here to there, up, down, and everywhere. Transportation. Say you need to go to an art class, or a scout meeting, or out for dinner. How do you get there? What type of transportation do you use? Do you take a car? A car is a form of transportation. I don't think any of you are driving just yet, but it's easy to go someplace in a car. The driver drives you, and before you know it, you're there. Unless, of course, you're stuck in a traffic jam. Cars have four wheels that help them move, and an engine powered by gas or electricity. What's another way people can get around that's not in a car? No gas or electricity needed, but it does have wheels. It runs on human power and effort. A bicycle, also called a bike. It has two wheels and moves by a person's own body pushing the pedals, which in turn move the wheels, which in turn moves the bike forward. Scooters and skateboards are another way that people get around using their own people power. Now, let's say you wanna spend some time on a lake or a river. Would you travel across the water on a bike? A car? No, I don't think so. How would you get across the water? If you said a boat, you'd be correct. Here, we see people in a rowboat. There are all different kinds of boats, but one thing they have in common is that they transport people and other things over water. Can you think of a few different kinds of boats? A ship is a very large boat. Huge cruise ships carry people on vacation. Little tugboats help large ships get into harbor. People enjoy recreation on sailboats that are powered by the wind. And you have your paddle boats that take people down rivers. A canoe is a little boat that runs on people power. You push a long wooden paddle through the water and it makes the boat move. A rowboat moves when you push the oars through the water. Huge cargo ships carry goods across the ocean. You know what else carries goods all around the country? Over roads and highways and around busy cities? Trucks. Truck drivers drive all kinds of trucks that carry items we use every day. They often travel long distances to bring goods to our stores and businesses. Now, get ready to listen to a horn and see if you can guess what type of transportation makes this sound. Here's a hint. It doesn't ride on a road or along the water. Did you say a train? Yes, trains carry people and products all across the country along railroad tracks, over bridges, through tunnels, and along wide stretches of open land. Underground trains, called subways, carry people throughout big cities. Because they're underground, they can get people from place to place quickly without having to deal with traffic. Now here's a type of transportation that isn't as big as a car. It looks like a bike, but it's powered 
by a motor. Do you know what it is? It's a motorcycle. A small type of motorcycle is called a moped. All over the world, people ride these instead of cars to get around. They're faster than a bike and easier to park than a car. So we've talked about traveling on the road, in the water, and on railroad tracks. What's one place people travel that we haven't talked about yet? Yeah, in the sky. Some airplanes have propellers and some have huge jet engines that move the plane above the clouds and carry people everywhere, across the land and over the ocean. I'm going to take a vacation in a month or so. This is a map of the world. You'll be learning about maps in upcoming lessons. So on my trip, I'm going from here, the USA, to Europe, which is over here. It's thousands of miles away. See all that blue? The blue part of this map is ocean water. I could go over the ocean by boat, but that would take a long time, and I don't want to spend my whole vacation on a boat. So I'm flying there, in a plane, of course. I can get there in a few hours instead of a few days. What's a form of transportation that goes in the sky like a plane but it travels way, way, way up millions of miles, say, to the moon. Yeah, a rocket. Maybe one day you'll get to ride on a rocket and visit Mars or the moon. But in the meantime, we can ride our cars, bikes, boats, trucks, trains, and planes. They'll take us where we need to go and back again. Okay, I gotta get ready for my walk back. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time, and remember to always be clever. Hey.